Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we will talk about Postman we will, and also we will install Postman. Now, what is this Postman? Postman is a great tool when trying to test your APIs made by others or the test one that you have made yourself. So in order for you to test your APIs or the one that let's say you wanted to test your Twitter API, Okay, you wanted to see what kind of response the Twitter API gives me. If you wanted to see a Google Calendar API or something of that nature, instead of writing a code just to test the API, what you can do is you can use this Postman tool to test those APIs. This Postman tool offers a very beautiful user interface, or I will say a very sleek user interface. And using this interface, you can make HTTP requests without the hassle of writing a bunch of code just to test the APIs. Now, a lot of th time people think that Postman can only be used to test your REST APIs, but that's not true. You can also use Postman for your SOAP calls as well. And how to do that, we are going to see in the upcoming tutorials. But we are going to use this Postman tool to not only test our SOAP APIs as well as the REST APIs. So the first thing is we need to have this installed on our computer. We will go to your browser here and uh, go to this link postman.com slash downloads. Or if you just go back to your Google and then type in Postman download, and you will see here this is going to be the link and then just click on this link and hit the download button so then the postman will be download on your machine i already have postman downloaded on my computer so i'm going to go ahead and uh, click on this postman and then you can see here i have created a bunch of these requests so just ignore it we will be doing all this in our tutorial today so what you have to do is, so you can see here, this is where you will select what kind of HTTP method you're going to use. So you can select get, post, put, patch, these options. You can select whichever you want. And then here is going to be the endpoint URL, means where the request is going to go. The URL will go here. Any header information, okay, with headers like content type, these are the different headers that are available. So let's say, if you wanted to send a session information, then there is another he header we have as the, let's say, SOAP action. So these are the different kind of headers that are available. So you can select whichever you want from this list. So this is all the header information. And then if you're making a post request, you wanted to select the body, it means what kind of data you are sending. So the data can be of any of these. It can be a text, it can be a JSON, HTML, XML, etc. And you can even send a CSV file. And we will talk about how to do that when we learn about bulk APIs. Okay, and we will use that bulk APIs to upload bulk records into Salesforce. But you can use either the text format, JSON or XML inside the body and go ahead. Once your request is ready, you go ahead and hit the send button. Then the response will be shown over here. So this is where the response will go. And I will also recommend you guys to create a new folder and uh, you can use that folder to save all the different requests that we will be creating in this course. So that way, if you want to go ahead and check it out later, then those that folder will have those requests already for you. So I will highly recommend you guys to create a new folder. So once you have, this is the collections. And if you want to create a new collection, you go under the collection here and hit the new collection. And uh, I'm going to create this collection called Salesforce integration course. So this is going to be the collection of all the calls that we are going to create for this course. So I have Currently, there are no requests inside of this, but from the next tutorial, we will go ahead and add and we'll make some, we'll test some APIs. Go ahead and install or download Postman. And then I will also recommend you to create a shortcut of that on your desktop. So it will be easy for you to just click on it and launch the Postman tool. So the Postman is used to test your APIs or any APIs that are available on the internet. The first thing is you have to choose what is the method type that you're going to use then it's going to be the endpoint URL. Then if any headers you want to pass, this is where it'll go. And then the body of that request. 
Once you hit the send button, the response will be shown over here. 200, the response will always have some status codes. Okay, so uh, 200 means the request is a good request, means the response went through, it is good, so that's it, okay. Okay, 404 means not found. Okay, so we will see if we uh, will see the different uh, status codes, but this is what we have, 500, this is called as the internal server issue. So these are the different uh, status code that will be returned from the server. 200 means our request went through fine. 404 means if you're trying to hit a URL, it's not available. That's where the 404 is. If there is a server issue, uh, then this is going to be the status code that is going to be returned by the server. So remember these status codes and that way we'll know that, okay, how, how the request went. In the next tutorial, we will go ahead and make some calls. We'll test some APIs and how to do that. We'll talk about that in the next. Thank you guys.